friends today we are going to see a sums and heights and distance right now we are seeing sums based on two right triangles right so first we have to read the question by the question we have to draw the diagram and what are the givens we are having and we have to mark it in the diagram by analyzing right just by analyzing we can find whatever they are needed whether they will ask you to find height or they will ask you to find distance right okay first we will draw first we will read the question and draw the diagram right picturizing the question right question number 22 from a point on the ground from a point on the ground the angle of angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of a transmitter tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter height building are 45 degree and 60 degree respectively see they are talking about right transmission tower right transmission tower has been fixed at the top of a 20 meter height building right 20 meter high building so first i am just drawing that 20 meter high building right and what is it the a is something but top of a building right the point A is nothing but top of the building and point B is nothing but foot, right? Foot of the building, right? And the height of the building is nothing but 20 meter, right? The height of the building is nothing but 20 meter. 20 meter building, high building, right? They are, they are fixing the transmission tower, right? In the top of a building, they are fixing the transmission tower, right? I'm just drawing the transmission tower, right? I am just fixing the transmission tower in the top of the building. A, B is nothing but height of the building and A, C is nothing but transmission tower, right? A, C is nothing but transmission tower. They didn't give the height of the transmission tower. That only we want to find, right? See, find the height of the tower, right? Find the height of the tower, right? Okay, still still we are having, what is it? Uh, 45 degree and 60 degree, that is nothing but angle of elevation. So from where they are seeing that angle of elevation, right? From where they are seeing? From your point on the ground, right? I am just, uh, this is nothing but ground, right? Plain surface. And I am just marking the point D, right? From the point D, from a point on the ground, that is point D, the angles of elevation of the bottom and the top of a transmission. Bottom of a tower is nothing but point A and top of a transmission tower is nothing but point C, right? Bottom and top of a transmission tower fixed at the top of a 20 meter high building are 45 degree and 60 degree. So it's nothing but bottom of a transmission tower right the angle of ele elevation of the bottom of the transmission tower is something but 45 degree right and this is something but line of sight horizontal line right and the top of the transmission tower right the ac is something but transmission tower and a is something but bottom of the transmission tower and c is something but foot of the tower right and a b is something but building right 20 meter high building right no i am just uh, making that ac right so now what is that uh, angle angle of elevation of the top of a right top of a transmission tower there is nothing but 60 degree right now what we want to find we want to find the height of the tower we want to find the height of the tower and just assuming that the height of the tower is something but x the height of the tower is something but what is it x right and just assuming that the distance between the foot of the building and the point right foot of the building and the point is nothing but i am just assuming y y meter and this is something but x meter right x meter right so see that now we are having two right triangle what are they now we are having two right angle triangles one is something but triangle a b d is something but one right angle triangle another right angle triangle is something but c b d right c b d so for tri tri right triangle a b d opposite side is something but 20 meter and adjacent is something but y meter right for angle 45 degree, opposite side is in the limit 20 meter. Adjacent side is in the limit y meter, right? For the triangle, right triangle, C, D, B, right? Angle 60 degree, adjacent side is in the limit y meter. But opposite side, that is in the limit, this full side, right? This is full side. So what is the measurement of this full side? That is BC is equal to what is it? X plus 20 meter, right? X plus 20 meter meter that is something but opposite side for the angle 60 degree right angle 60 degree x plus 20 meter fully right this cbd is a uh, full uh, this full cbd is something but right angle triangle right now we are having two right angle triangle we know adjacent opposite side for the both the right angle triangles right now by solving by with the help of trigonometry ratio we will find the 
value of x right that x alone we want to find we want to x is nothing but what is it height of the transmission tower that only we want to find so we can find right first try the given let a b be the right a b be the 20 meter high building right a b be the 20 meter high building and a c be the transmission tower right a c be the transmission tower right a c be the transmission tower right and we have assumed that that a c is nothing but x meter a c is equal to x meter and a b equal to what is it a b is equal to 20 meter right and what is it b d and we have assumed that b d is nothing but what is it y meter right b d the distance between the foot of the building and then that point right the point on the ground that is b d is nothing but what you have assumed that b d is equal to y meter right x meter and y meter right and still we are having what is it next b c right b c is nothing but a b plus a c that is x plus 20 meter b c so b c is equal to what is it x plus 20 meter x plus 20 meter now we know that all the uh, opposite side adjacent adjacent side for both the triangle right triangles right now what are right triangle we are having in right triangle right in right triangle what are right triangle we are having in right triangle a b d in right triangle a b d and in right triangle d b c right r c d b what it may be right d b c i am taking in triangle right triangle d b c right find one by one in right triangle a b d right in right triangle a b d we know opposite side and we want to find adjacent side we know opposite side that is nothing but 20 meter and what we want to find we want to find that y meter right that y alone so opposite by adjacent is nothing but tan theta right so in right triangle a b d what is the angle angle is in the limit 45 degree right so in right triangle a b d what is it tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side right opposite side divided by adjacent side so tan theta what is theta Th theta is in the limit 45 degree in right triangle a b d what is the angle 45 degree so tan 45 degree is equal to opposite side what is opposite side a b divided by b d a b divided by b d right it is equal to what is the value of tan 45 degree it is equal to 1 right 1 is equal to a b divided by b d what is a b 20 meter a b is nothing but 20 divided by b d is nothing but y right i am just taking this y to the lhs y into 1 is equal to y so y is equal to 20 meter therefore the distance between the foot of the bu building and the point on the ground is nothing but b d is equal to 20 meter right if you are Next time I'm going to I'm going to find the yes, x x value right. So what is it in in right triangle D B C this full right angle triangle. What is it? We know we want to find the opposite side right. We know adjacent side. Now we have find the y right. We know adjacent side and we want to find the opposite side right. Opposite side. So in right triangle so opposite by adjacent is something but tan theta trigonometric ratio. So tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side opposite side divided by adjacent it is equal to tan theta what is the theta in uh, triangle dbc 60 degree right dbc 60 degree so tan 60 degree is equal to opposite side that is bc divided by bd right bc divided by bd so tan 60 is nothing but what is the value of tan 60 root 3 is equal to what is the value of bc x plus 20 divided by y right x plus 20 divided by y now just take the y to the lhs already we know the value of y substitute and you can take it to the lhs no problem already we know the value of y y is equal to 20 meter instead of y shall i substitute the value 20 so root 3 is equal to x plus 20 divided by 20 taking this 20 to the lhs 20 into root 3 right 20 into root 3 is equal to x plus 20 taking this plus 20 to the lhs plus 20 will become minus 20 so x is equal to already what we are having 20 root 3 minus 20 right 20 root 3 minus 20 so what is the common term 20 is common just take commonly outside then you can simply it will be very easy right so x is equal to 20 into root 3 minus 1 right 20 into root 3 minus 1 root 3 so 20 is common taking commonly outside and they ask you to substitute the value of root 3 what is the value of root 3 1.73 so x is equal to 20 into 1.73 minus 1 is equal to 
20 into 0 0.73 1.73 minus 1 0 0.73 while we are multiplying what is the value 14.6 meter x is equal to therefore the height of the transmission tower therefore the height of the transmission tower that is very important right the height of the transmission tower is transmission tower is 14.6 meter right so number 23 the angle of elevation of the top of a tower angle of elevation so from from foot to the top they are seeing top of a tower so top of a tower 30 meter high from the foot of the another tower so we are having two towers right so first tower so they are uh, they are seeing that they are seeing the top of the tower from the foot of another tower right so i am just drawing the two towers right i am just drawing the two towers and one is bigger and one is smaller right whatever it may be right no problem the plane surface right so a b is in the number one tower and c d is in the number another tower right a b is in the number one tower and c d is in the number another tower right from the foot of the tower right from the foot of the another tower right from the foot of the another tower from the foot of the another tower, right? From this foot, right? So this is one tower and another tower, right? And from the foot of the another uh, another tower, I'm just uh, the angle of elevation is nothing but 60 degree, right? What is the angle of elevation? 60 degree. And what is the height of the tower? They have given that the height of the tower is nothing but what is it? 30 meter height, right? 30 meter height, 30 meter, right? So the the second tower, right? The second tower is nothing but 30 meter. And the angle of elevation of the and the angle of elevation of the second tower from the foot of the first tower, right? Second tower from the foot of the first tower, right? So I have drawn. I am just taking that A B is the but the second tower and C D is the first tower, right? So one second. See the angle of elevation of the top of a tower 30 meter high, 30 meter high. The first tower, the, the height of the first tower is in the number 30 meter. Another tower is in the number C D. I have taken a C D, right? From the foot of the another tower, right? From the foot of the another tower in the same plane is 60 degrees. So from the foot of another tower is nothing but D is nothing but foot of the another tower. From there the angle of elevation of the top of the first tower is nothing but 60 degree, right? 60 degree, right? And the angle of elevation of the and the angle of elevation of the second tower, angle of elevation of the second tower from the foot of the first tower. So from the foot of the first tower means B is the foot of the first tower. From here the angle of elevation is how much? 30 degree. So this angle is nothing but 30 degree. 30 degree. Find the distance between the two towers and also height of the other tower, right? Height of the other tower. So I'm just assuming that let the distance between the two towers is nothing but x. And the height of the another tower I'm just taking as y. X meter, y meter. Understood? So the distance between the two towers is nothing but x meter and the height of the another tower is nothing but y meter right now we are having two right angle triangle what are they a b d is nothing but right angle triangle right right angle triangle right triangle right angle at the b right and the next right angle triangle is nothing but b d c right b d c and this is nothing but right angle right right angle right angle d right so now we just write the given what are the given we are having the uh, what is it the letter a b be the first tower right a b be the first tower a b be the first tower and c d be the second tower right c d be the second tower right second tower so they already they have given that the, the tower the height of the first tower is in the number 30 meter so a b is equal to 30 meter right a b is equal to 30 meter and remaining and all we are going to assume that right so b d is something but what is we have assumed that b d is something but x meter what is b d the distance between the foot of the two towers right b d is equal to x meter and c d is something but what is it height of the another tower c d is equal to y meter what is c d c d is something but height of the another tower right c d is something but height of the another tower now just compare that for the two right angle triangle, we want to know adjacent side and the opposite side, right? So first I'm just as I'm just taking the triangle A B D. We know opposite side. A B D, what is the angle? 60 degree, right? In right triangle A B D, what is the angle? 60 degree. For 60 degree, 
30 meter is opposite side and x meter is nothing but adjacent side right i am just taking the another triangle c b d right c b d what is the angle 30 degree for 30 degree y meter is opposite side and x meter is nothing but adjacent side right so one by one we can find so how many right angle triangle we are having two right, tri right triangles what are they in right triangle a b d right in right triangle a b d and another right triangle is nothing but in right triangle in right triangle c b d right in right triangle c b d first time uh, in right triangle a b d we know opposite side and we are going to find adjacent side what is opposite side a b and adjacent side x meter right so opposite by adjacent what ratio trigonometric ratio tan theta so tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side right so tan theta tan theta what is the theta in triangle a b d triangle a b d see you will get confused you will get confusion ma because 30 as, as well as 60 is there right so we uh, you have to separate right you have to differentiate which angle is blanks to which triangle which right triangle that you want to differentiate right now we are seeing triangle a b d in a b d what is the acute angle 60 degree for 60 degree only right and for c b d alone the acute angle is nothing but 30 degree right so we have to differentiate so in, now we are solving the right triangle a b d right in right triangle a b d the angle is nothing but 60 degree so tan 60 degree is equal to opposite side for 60 degree is nothing but a b divided by adjacent side for uh, 60 degree is nothing but b d right so what is the value of tan 60 degree tan 60 degree is equal to what is the value of tan 60 degree tan 60 is equal to root 3 is equal to what is the value of a b a b is nothing but 30 meter so 30 divided by b d is nothing but x right and just bringing this x to the lhs then what is it x into root 3 or root 3 into x right x into root 3 or root 3 into x is equal to 30 right but what we are needed x alone we are needed taking this root 3 to the rhs then x is equal to 30 divided by root 3 right 30 divided by root 3 is it any other possible to simplify now itself we shall I simplify yes root 3 is there right in 30 it is something but 3 into 10 in this 3 we are having 2 root 3 right shall I simplify 1 times remaining 1 root 3 will, that will be there so it is something but x is equal to 10 root 3 meter x is equal to 10 root 3 meter next right in right triangle cbd right in right triangle cbd right right triangle cbd what is it adjacent side and opposite side so which ratio we are going to use it tan theta tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side tan theta what is the value of theta in the triangle cbd 30 degree right Th tan 30 degree is equal to for 30 which is opposite side y divided by x right y divided by x what is the value of tan 30 root 3 right so root 3 is equal to y divided by x taking this x to the lhs then y is equal to what is it x into root 3 or root 3 into x whatever maybe root 3 into x root 3 into x already we know the value of x right what is the value of x 10 root 3 so i substitute here then y is equal to root 3 into 10 root 3 root 3 into root 3 3 3 into 10 30 so y is equal to 30 meter now what are things we want to find we want to find the distance between the two towers at the same time height of the tower also so distance is something but x and height is something but y therefore a small correction actually what is the value of tan 30 degree 1 by root 3 but i have substituted uh, tan 60 60 value right root 3 i have substituted sorry sorry for uh, my mistake tan 30 degree is something but 1 by root 3 right just taking this x to the lhs divide will become multiply right so x divided by root 3 y is equal to x by root 3 already we know the value of x x is in the number 10 root 3 so 10 root 3 divided by root 3 root 3 root 3 will get cancelled so what is the remaining 10 so y is equal to 10 meter therefore the distance between the two tower is in the number 10 root 3 meter height of the second tower is in the number 10 meter right we will see one more sum sum number 24 two ships are sailing in the sea on the either side of the lighthouse right so lighthouse that is something but vertical right i'm just taking that a is something but top of a b is something but height of the lighthouse right a is something but top of the lighthouse b is something but foot foot of the lighthouse right see the two ship are sailing in the sea on the either side that is very important what is mean by either side on the same side and either side same side means both are in the same side both ship are in the same side either side means opposite sides right so this is the top of a 
top of the lighthouse means one ship, one ship is nothing but in the in, in this side another ship is nothing but in this side right so i'm just this this ship is nothing but i'm just taking as ship one is nothing but c and ship two is nothing but i'm just taking as d right two ship are sailing in the sea on the either side of a lighthouse either so a b is nothing but light, lighthouse and c and d are the ship either side right both are in the either either side of a lighthouse the angle of the depression the angles of a depression that means from the top they are seeing the down from here which is the top that is in the mud lighthouse right from the top of the lighthouse they are seeing the down that is in the mud ship right so the angle of depression of two ship are absorbed from the top of the lighthouse are 60 degree and 45 degree respectively 60 degree and 45 degree respectively if the distance between the ship is 200 into root 3 plus 1 by root 3 meter right i have missed right find the height of the lighthouse right so they are saying that the angle of they have given that angle of depression so i'm just drawing the line of sight right so from the point a from the top of the lighthouse they are seeing the ship c point is in the image ship 1 and d point is in the image ship 2 right this line of sight horizontal line where we want to draw from where they are seeing from the top alone so from the top we want to draw the horizontal line right i'm just drawing the horizontal line right and 60 degree and 45 degree right 60 and 45 so first ship is in the image 60 degree and second one is in the image 45 i'm just taking that suppose i'm i'm just assuming that d is in the image first ship you can mark it as mark here as 60 degree and here you can mark it as 45 that's not a problem right so see Either side the ship are coming means if you are marking the angle in the, the in the different side that's not a problem but on the same side means then we have to mark the angle correctly properly right state itself we saw that if it is very closer the angle will be bigger if it is far away the angle will be the angle will be smaller right so just keep in your mind right so this is in the image what is it horizontal line right here whatever uh, whatever you can assume no problem so this angle is in the image 60 degree this is line of sight and this is horizontal line and this is also line of sight right from here they are seeing the ship this is line of sight horizontal line what is the angle 45 degree right now we want to bring that right angle triangle how we are going to bring i'm just drawing the i'm just uh, joining the point b and c and d right now we got that two right angle triangle see this is in the image vertical line and this is also right angle and this is also right angle now we got that two right triangle one is in the image a b c is the right angle triangle the another right angle triangle a b d right so first we have to bring the angle how we are going to bring the angle so this like these two lines are parallel and this is transversal if this angle is 60 degree then angle c is also what is it 60 degree if the angle this angle is 45 degree and this is also the image 45 degree because yes these two lines are parallel and this is transversal what is it alternate interior angles are equal right already we saw that so now we don't know the angles and one more one more thing they have given what is it they have given one more thing that is nothing but the distance between the two ship right the distance between the two ship that is cd right the distance between the two ship right distance between the two ship is 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 meter they have given that right now what they ask you to find they ask you to find the height of the lighthouse so how we are going to find say i'm just going to assume that that the letter bc is nothing but x right x meter the distance between the foot of the tower and the ship is nothing first ship is nothing but x meter the distance between the foot of the lighthouse and the second ship is nothing but y meter that means this 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 meter is something but x plus y is equal to right x plus y is equal to this meter right okay now what we want to find height we want to find so better we can take this a b as a h meter right height already we have used two variables now i am just using h right now we are having to write angle triangle with the help of that i am just going to find so first write the given what are the givens we are having let let a b be the what is it let a b be the lighthouse right let a b be the lighthouse and b c is something but distance between the uh, foot of the lighthouse and the first ship and b d is something but foot of the lighthouse and the second ship right that and all okay let what are things we have assumed that that is something but what is it b a b is something but 
h meter the height of the lighthouse ab is equal to h meter right and bc is nothing but x meter bc is equal to x meter and bd is nothing but y meter bd is equal to y meter now we are having two right triangle right we are having two right right triangle one is nothing but a b c in the triangle right triangle a b c we know angle 60 degree right adjacent side opposite side adjacent side is nothing but x opposite side is nothing but h second right angle triangle also we know one variable and we know that both are variables so by using the trigonometric ratio we are going to find so what we are going to find we are going to find the h right so first while we are solving the first right angle triangle right we will find the x in terms of h next we will find the y value of y in terms of h then already we know that x plus y is equal to some value just substitute and equate we will we will get the value of h understood shall we okay in right triangle abc right in right triangle abc right we are going to we are going to you we know adjacent we, do, we are going to find adjacent and the opposite right so trigonometric ratio is nothing but tan theta so tan theta is equal to opposite side divided by adjacent side right so what is tan theta tan theta what is theta in the triangle abc 60 so tan 60 degree is equal to opposite side that is h sorry first we will write the s yes. ab divided by bc what is the value of tan 60 degree tan 60 degree is equal to root 3 right root 3 is equal to h divided by x i already told you that we want to find x and y in terms of h because we are going to find the value of h so that h alone we are needed so i am just going to i am just going to find the value of x in terms of h right so just taking x to the lhs and root 3 to the rhs so what is it x is equal to h divided by root 3 right h divided by root 3 just keep as it is next in right triangle abd right tan theta is equal to what is it opposite side divided by adjacent side so theta what is the value of theta 45 degree so tan 45 is nothing but opposite side that is ab divided by bd what is the value of tan 45 1 is equal to h divided by y taking y to the lhs then y is equal to h h meter h root 3 meter right now we got the value of x and y right already we know that what we know that x plus y is equal right x plus y is equal to that that we have to write in the given itself right so that is in the but distance between the two ship that is x plus y x plus y is equal to 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 meter right so just we want to equate right shall we shall we equate now we know that x plus y is equal to we know that right in the in the, in the given in the given itself we are having that x plus y is equal to 200 into right 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 meter right now we know the value of x and y just substitute and simplify what is the value of x that is nothing but h divided by root 3 plus h is equal to 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 right now just take the h alone commonly outside so h into 1 by root 3 plus 1 is equal to 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 right now just simplify h into cross multiply so 1 plus root 3 whole divided by root 3 right cross multiply is equal to 200 into root 3 plus 1 divided by root 3 right now see that lhs and rhs 1 plus root 3 by root 3 and root 3 plus 1 by root 3 both are same right multiplication shall i cancel i'm just cancelling so remaining what is there h is equal to 200 therefore therefore the height of the lighthouse therefore the height of the lighthouse is 200 meter right now done your homework sums so number 25 from your point o on the ground The angle of elevation of the top of a tower is thirty degree, and the top and the and that of the top of the flagstaff and the top of the tower is sixty degree. The length of the flagstaff is five meter. Find the height of the tower. So what they are saying, when tower is there, above the tower, the a flagstaff is fixed, right? So the length of the flagstaff is nothing but five meter, right? The length of the flagstaff. When tower is there. Above the tower, they have fixed the flagstaff, right? Now the angle of elevation from the point O, from the point O, the angle of elevation of the top of the tower is nothing but thirty degree, and the top of the 
flag staff right top of the flag staff is nothing but 60 degree right so the same like that some number 20 same like some number 22 right but they have given the height of the building and ask you to find the height of the that uh, transmission tower here they have given the length of the flag staff right height of the flag staff or length of the flag staff and ask you to find the height of the term understood so you have to find right so now 26 two ships two ship are approaching a lighthouse from opposite direction from opposite direction right opposite direction the angles of depression of a two ship from the top of a lighthouse are 30 degree and 45 degree if the distance between the two ship is 100 meter find the height of the lighthouse same like some number 24 right the final answer is in the image for 25 2.5 meter and for 26 the final answer is in the image 36.5 meter right thank you